Hey group, this paper is going to be useful for those of you who want to focus on cervical cancer. Uh, this one specifically being on cervical cancer screenings, the past, present, and future. This article is not in our text, however it might be useful if you want to learn more about the screening practices and how it relates to sexual transmitted infections. Um, Cervical cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths in women in the developing world. It is the third most common cancer in women worldwide. Um, nearly all cases are attributed to the HPV virus. Um, HPV types categorized from low risk to high risk strains. because it's almost a 100% association with HPV to cervical cancer, it's worth learning about the HP virus more in depth. Um, it is a sexual transmitted infection. <clears throat> it is most prevalent in teenaged women and women aged 20 to 30 years, concordant with timing for sexual contact um, early age of first sexual intercourse and multiple sexual partners are known risk factors for high-risk HPV infections. <clears throat> factors that increase the likelihood of HPV persistence include tobacco use, immunosuppression, low socioeconomic status, and long-term use of oral contraceptives. When we relate this to the Amish population, I think it's worth knowing um, the Amish sexual practices, how old are they usually when they start having sexual intercourse, how many sexual partners do the Amish typically have, what is the HPV relevance in these populations, um, they said it's a leading cause of cancer deaths in the developing world. I'm gonna put a good guess and say that there's a, probably a lot of similarities between the Amish population and many developing populations. Um, the low socioeconomic status in the Amish population, there might be a little bit there, despite them having a little bit of a healthier lifestyle um, and long-term use of oral contraceptives if the Amish use contraceptives. I actually don't know if they do or not. Um, but Amish sexual behaviors are going to be very relevant to their cervical cancer studies due to the HPV virus. <clears throat> there are currently three HPV vaccines approved by the U.S. Um, Gardasil, Gardasil 9, and Cervarix says that as of 2017, Gardasil 9 is the only HPV vaccine available for use in the U.S. Um, and the CDC currently recommends vaccination for male and female peoples ages of 9 through 26. So another question is, are the Amish people getting their HPV vaccines? Um, there have been studies um, looking at the utility of testing HPV as an indicator to cervical cancer and it showed that there was equivalent or superior effectiveness into uh, cervical cancer screaming using the method of looking at HPV. <clears throat> and it has been predicted that primary HPV screening may become the standard screening modality with the next decade in terms of cervical cancer.
<clears throat> a cool thing about HPV testing is that it can be performed by the patient via self-swabbing and this would be especially beneficial in low resource settings. My mindset is the Amish people, I imagine. They're probably a relatively low resource setting, especially in the Appalachian era, area. <clears throat> and it even goes as far to say that um, the ability to screen more women by way of self-collected samples justifies this, this small decrease in testing accuracy. <clears throat> I think they just want to get more people tested. And that holds especially true with our population being the Amish women. Um, just the more the merrier. Even if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of test accuracy, you still want to get those tests out. Um, Screen in a woman one time in her life after 35 decreases her risk of dying from cervical cancer by 70%. And her risk of dying from cervical cancer drops more than 85% if she is screened every five years. That's, those are pretty strong statistics. Um, so in terms of Amish cervical cancer, um, if there's any data on the Amish sexual behaviors, the number of sexual partners, their typical age of first sexual intercourse, how prevalent is HPV in their populations, um, are the Amish getting their HPV vaccines? Um, you can play around with the idea of the self-swabbing um, tests to indicate uh, potential for cervical cancer. Uh, yeah, but this is uh, cervical cancer. <clears throat>